Hi. You're in my car, not your car. We're in my parents' driveway in Anna's car. Today? <laughs> Is that how you're going to start it off? <laughs> I don't know. We can edit this. <laughs> Today, we're gonna do an updates video. So, yeah, <laughs> this is us kind of just breaking down where we're at with our lives and what we're focusing on, what we're feeling, and what we're doing about it. We have a big project we've been looking into, mm -hmm. and today of all days, we're going to check it out. And if it all goes well, we're gonna commit to it. I'm already committed in my mind. I like it. I, we've already seen it together, mm -hmm. but we're bringing people to look at it, and <laughs> they have a better idea. They want to be like, we don't want to spoil yeah, it. We yet. don't want to give it away because we're gonna drop it and it's gonna be like, Whoa. yeah. And, and be like, Whoa. I also want to make sure it works out before we promise all these things. Yeah, I think it will. I think it will. I feel. But it. I'm just, I want to be cautious. It's a surprise for us too. Yeah, <laughs> we went to Florida. That was fun. That was really fun. I proposed to Hannah, and we're engaged. If you haven't watched our mukbang, <laughs> <laughs> go watch it. Link will probably be down in the whatever in the area down in the area no we've been working a lot on earthly mine we just renovated our shop when we first put out our merch and stuff it was very kind of just like put together we didn't really know what we we're doing mm -hmm. and we still don't but we put it out there with an easier feeling i guess mm -hmm. simplifying mm -hmm. it and not trying to make it this laid out thing and every order now gets a sticker pack or you can just buy a sticker pack itself we've been having some coupons and stuff which is super cool so people can get discounts because mm. everyone loves a discount and you guys deserve it but yeah i feel like at the beginning we were really focusing on building a shop to sell things mm. and then make money from it so we didn't have to go to work but now at least me personally, and I, I, I think Anna too, mm. we're focusing on really just creating something that lives, something that's alive and something that practical to being alive. Something that we love and nourish, and it's not just there to give us a living, it's there because we like to do it. Mm. And I think that's where people go wrong yeah. when they do things like this, is they try to just make money and only make money and not do the things they really love. Mm. And I know that I get that idea in my head a lot, like, I need to be making money off of this. I think society brings a lot of that onto you. Capitalism. Capitalism, and, like, the idea if you're not going to college, you have to be doing something, and you have to be making money, you have to be doing this, you have to be doing that, and it's like, no, I'm doing something I love, yeah. and if I make a profit off of it, then that's great, but yeah. it's just something I love. To really boil it down to living and enjoying living. Yeah, exactly. And not trying to, like, acquire all these things and have this big, fancy, great great life with mm. many things but more so find more meaning in each moment of your life and make the time that you have longer yeah i like that yeah. that was beautiful thank you i also just moved in with noah oh not officially because some stuff is in the back of my car still i got rid of a lot of clothes and there's still more but i'm working on it i'm working on it i'm trying to so much clothes i know i'm trying to <laughs> so many clothes i'm trying to minimize my life it's super hard though i think clothes are a big thing for me because i like to put on this like show it's like oh today i feel like this and this is how i want to feel so i'm gonna portray it i guess it's different though for girls because guys it's just like okay you got pants, you got shorts, <laughs> long things. sleeve, short sleeve, and sweatshirts, socks, and underwear. It's That's like, it. I've got rompers, I've got bras, I've got t-shirts, I've got tank tops, I've got crop tops, I've got jeans, I've got these pants, I've got those pants, I've got leggings. <laughs> recently I've been exploring the land of uh, button downs. And leggings. <laughs> Alright, for all you guys out there who have not tried on leggings, if you got a girlfriend, you got a sister, you got a mom... Try them on, man. Free ball it. No undies. Just go for it. <laughs> and you... Not a thing okay, your moms. <laughs> you don't have to go out in public, but I'm saying if you're hanging out for the day in your house, you're cleaning, you're just hanging out, lounging, throw on those leggings. Are they nice? Yeah. They're breathable. They're like, <laughs> they're tight. They, you can like stretch in them perfectly. Who wouldn't want to wear those if you're hanging out? Now you know why like so many people wear yoga pants. <laughs> They're so comfortable. I was I was hanging out. I forgot where you went. You went to hang out with a friend. But I was hanging out and I, I had to throw on a sweatshirt because I got cold too. So I was like, oh my god, I'm so basic right now. But you were so comfy. I was super and comfy. And that's the point. That's you the get point. It. You get it. Oh, we're going to sell this car. It is a 2000... 
14. 14 Ford Fiesta, Fiesta with its sport. 60,000 miles. It has lights in it, but you can change colors. <sighs> Pretty fancy. Heated seats. The point is to sell this car. Use Noah's car for a bit, even though it has a flat tire with it, change that. Because it's a Prius and it gets better gas mileage. And then eventually sell that car and get a van. It's hard to find a good van though. Yeah. One that's not too crazy, but a good medium. Because like you got the Euro vans, like Volkswagens, but they're super expensive. We need a kind of decent one, but on a budget. <laughs> Would be nice. We'll get there though. I'm in no rush. Yeah. Especially with other things happening. That comes first. Yeah. Um, I do want to design more stickers. Yeah, more stickers coming soon. Yeah. We have a bug spray coming soon. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. Probably other sprays too. Probably other sprays. Podcast. Podcasts. We kind of took a break on the podcast. I think the beginning was just testing it out, seeing what it is, yeah. what's up with it. I feel like we need that, though, because it really put us into Earthly Minds. It's yeah. like, okay, we're committed to this thing now, we're behind it. Mm -hmm. And now, um, I definitely want Noah to run the podcast, because I'm just not a speaker. But I, I still want to but... do, I'll still do podcasts with you. Okay. Yeah, so he's going to be also interviewing some people, talking it up a storm. Yeah, bringing a lot of, a lot of new people on. I know personal lives, other than engagement, what's been going on? So if those of you don't know... Last year, my brother died in a car accident, so at my house now, it's kind of been difficult. Everyone's kind of been feeling it because the day is coming back up. Yeah, it's just been a weird atmosphere, and I feel like I've grown from it. I feel like I've learned, I've felt, and I've, I've come to a good amount of terms with it. That can't be said for the rest of my family. All With all of us being at different stages with this thing coming up, it's just been a weird, like, mashup of everyone trying to, like, feel out where everyone's at and how to, like interact yeah there's been some troubles in my family well the lesson involved is that i've learned that i need to take a step back sometimes and realize that things cannot be fixed when i want them to be fixed exactly. and that it's not necessarily my job to fix them and sometimes the person just needs some space to do them and learn their lesson and then come back that's kind of where where i'm at with my situation too oddly so maybe that's the monthly lesson is to mm. take a step back and be like okay there's not much else I can do here. Hmm. I just gotta keep doing me. And others will follow when their time is right. When the price is right. <laughs> you are so serious. I know. <laughs> when, when the price is right. Oh, and I'm growing out my hairs. It looks wild. There. If it wasn't so wet, it would just be like... Like, why not, you know? You see lions... You see all these different animals in the wild, and you can depart or depict the male from the female because the male has a mane. It's supposed to be intimidating of some sorts, but it's also beautiful. It's elegant. It's very feminine. It's a balance. So with all these guys, like, shaving their heads, like, if you want to shave your head, by all means, please do it, because that's you. But to balance yourself, okay, you must... insert a picture of me with a shaved head. <laughs> All I'm saying is be wild, be free, find yourself. And if that means letting yourself go and letting yourself grow, then I by all means, it. do it. Yeah, we've been kind of growing out our hair together. My hair has been through a journey. It's getting super long. It's cute. I wish mine was as curly as yours. It was last time, but I can put two buns in it, which is fun. Oh, we've been going to the gym. Yeah, we've been going to the gym. We went like three times last week. My goal is to go like a lot because I really like the gym. I mm. feel like when I am stagnant, then I'm just like not a fan and I used to do a lot of yoga and for some reason I've just not I haven't been with it and I'm not the only person that I've talked to that feels the same way mm. like I don't know for some reason like that slow moving like I just don't want to do that I want to like I feel like I need myself. to flush my body yeah. And I really can't do that with yoga. I feel like I need cardio involved. I need to start sweating heavily. Mm. And I know you could do that with hot yoga, but I've really never experienced that yet. Oh. So maybe the day will come. Hot yoga is wild. I can't do it. It's too much. Ten minutes and I'm just like, I wish I wasn't here. I wish I well, wasn't here. Well, that's the part. Here. And then, like, you get past it. And... I'm, start weightlifting! So the reason we started <laughs> going to the gym is because we've just been feeling, like, really soggy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, yeah. like a dirty sponge almost. We're like just a like, wet sock. Like a wet sock. And yeah. we're just like, bleep. What do, we, what, do we, what do we do? Turns out we just need physical exercise. We're animals. Yeah. We stay inside a lot. We sit down in cars a lot. Especially with what we're doing. Like, I'm on the computer a lot. And... Step outside, though. Bro. Bro. 
Oh. Yeah, and the weather's been kind of shoddy here. April showers. Yeah, it's the end of April showers. It's oh, going to bring May so. flowers, Hannah. I guess so. And it already is. I can look around. Yeah, but I want to go outside. Huh? And <sighs> I was going to make a noise, but I was like, no, don't make a noise. That's too much. In New England, mushroom foraging season for the springtime is in May, everyone. In May. It's coming up. He's pumped about I'm it. I'm pumped. Fishies. I've been looking. <laughs> I've been looking. <laughs> I saw I saw what I think was a reishi growing on top of a uh, a tree yesterday. It was a birch tree. I could be totally wrong. We're getting into it. We're slowly moving there. Oh, yeah. But yeah, just heads up. <laughs> I was He's nervous. So excited. <laughs> mm. I have to pee. I'm sorry. Okay. I'll be back. Oh, one of the things that I've been having weird problems with my body, and I kind of mentioned that in our mukbang. I don't really know what's going on. My period was late. Not pregnant, by the way. And it just kind of feels super weird. I keep getting weird cramps. I have cysts. Welcome back. Thanks. But I don't think that's a problem. I don't know what's going on with my reproductive system, but I'm gonna get that checked out. Pray for me. We also think it's yeast. I don't know if you said that. Oh yeah, it could be yeast. I'm taking probiotics again. I took probiotics one other time and that worked like a charm, uh, but then I just never maintained my gut flora. So that's what I'm gonna do after this is maintain the gut flora. Maintain it. Grow your personal garden. You don't want the weeds. You want the bees. I don't know. I don't like the word or the term weed, because that's only what you don't want in your garden. You want everything, but you just want a balance. People call dandelions weeds. You can eat pretty much every part of the dandelion. Go through a metamorphosis, and then whew, it spreads its seeds. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there anything else? No. Okay, well, that's that. There's more stuff coming your way. And we go and see our project today and see if it's worth doing anything to. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I'm so tired. <laughs> you can't look like you burp. And it's fantastic. If you've noticed our teeth are pearly. Charcoal toothpaste, bamboo toothpaste. Bamber, you have to make him more charcoal toothpaste. Do you want a video on that? You could probably do a video on that. Let us know in the comments. Let us know what you want to see. Peace. <laughs> Stop it, you're a kid. <laughs>